Today we're going to be working on, on probability questions involving a uh, di diagram, a uh, Venn diagram, and a two-way table. So let's start with the probability of using a two-way table. So in this probability uh, question, a statistics teacher has 40 students in his class, 23 females and 17 males. At the beginning of the class on a Monday, the teacher planned to spend time reviewing on an assignment due that day. And unknown to the teacher, only 19 of the females and 11 of the males had completed the assignment. So the teacher plans to randomly select students to do a problem from the assignments on the whiteboard. And we're going to be answering problems A, B, and C using a two-way table. Because it's a lot easier when we are visualizing the information given to us in table form in answering uh, probability questions such as A, B, and C. So the first thing that we need to do is to construct a table. So since we have gender and uh, assignment which was completed and not completed, our two-way table should look something like this. So this will be our male students and the female students and the students who have completed the assignment and the students who have not completed the assignment. Now in our information, our problem, we know that there are 23 females, so there are 23 females and 17 males. And we also know that 19 females had completed the assignment, so females, 19 and 11 of them, them also completed, completed the assignment. Now these are the only informations that we know based on the problem, but we can complete the table, table by simple arithmetic. So there are 7 males, 11, 11 have completed it, so that means 6 of them did not complete it, and 19 females completed it out of the 23, so that means 4 of them have did not complete it. So a total of students who have completed the assignment is 20, and 10 students have completed their assignments. So a total of 40 students are in the two-way table. Now let's answer the first probability question. The first probability question is to uh, find the probability that a student or the selected student has completed the assignment. So the number of students who have completed the assignment is 20 out of the total number of 40 students. So this is the probability that a student selected in this class have completed their homework and it's 20 out of 40. So this is for letter A. So it's a lot easier when we are seeing the two-way table in our probability um, solution. Now for letter B, given that the student selected is a male. And we know that the key word for a conditional statement in most problem is the word given. So that will be our condition. The condition is that the student selected is already a male. So when we write our probability notation, we already know that the denominator will be our sample space of male students. And we're going to find the, find the probability that the student elected has, has completed the assignment. So these will be the male students. This is the completed assignment. Only 11 of them is in our intersection. So that will be our conditional probability. The students who have completed the assignment, who happens to be male, which is 11, divided by the number of male students, which is 17. So this is how we're going to answer problem letter B using the two-way table and the conditional statement. That is why for letter C, if we're going to find the probability of choosing a student who have completed their assignment given that it's female, using our two-way table, this will be the row of completed student um, assignment and male students will be right here. So their intersection is 19 out of 
the denominator of females, so the total number of females is 23. And that is our uh, probability or answering probability question using a two-way table. Now for the second part, we're going to be working on a Venn diagram and we're going to be using this formula in finding the probability of this particular event. So in this case, we are choosing a woman or an American at random and the probability that we will choose a woman is 0.52 and also the probability that you choose a first person it's never married, never married in 2025. We're also given the probability that you choose a woman who has never married and it's 0.11. So probability that the woman and never married is also given, which is 0.11. So in a Venn diagram, this should look like this. This will be your group of selections of women, and there are 52% of them, or there's 52% of them that is women, and this will be not married, and only 11% of them fall under this category, and uh, woman and never married will be our intersection, which is 0.11. I mean, this is 0.25. And this is 0.11. So by using our probability, or the formula for probability, P of A, or P is P of A plus P of B minus P of A and B. And by using our information, we can define this as our P of A. This will be our P of B. And this is the intersection, which is A intersection B. So in uh, probability formula, this can also be written as P of A intersection B. And this will be A union B. So that is the difference between A union and, and the intersection. And seeing, seeing our formation, we, we can now find the probability that a woman, woman or has never married or both will be selected in the process. And by using the formula, P of A is 0.52 plus P of B, which is 0.25, and you minus it with 0.11. So using our calculator, 0.52 plus 0.25 minus 0.11 is 66, or 0.66. So the probability that you will select a woman or has never married in this particular selection it's about 66%. So this is how we use this formula and the representation of the Venn diagram in this particular probability question. Now for the last part, we're going to be using the tree diagram in answering this probability uh, question. We have three machines in this problem, A, B, and C. They produces a large quantity of identical parts at a factory. Machine A produces 60%. Um, B produces 30% of the parts, and C, and C produces the 10% uh, of the parts. So if we're going to draw a tree diagram based on this, we know that we can have three branches over here. This is for machine A, B, and C. 60% of the parts will be coming from A. 30% uh, of the parts will be coming from machine B. And only 10% of the parts will be coming from uh, machine C, a total of 100%. Now, another condition in this problem is that 
records shows that 10% of the parts produced by machine A are defective. Which means 90% of them will be non-defective. And in B, 30% of them will be defective. And the complement of 0.30 is 0.70, which is non-defective. And for C, 40% will be defective which means 60% will be non-defective. So this is now our tree diagram, which will help us answer problem letter B and letter C. So we know that if we are looking for the probability that um, the machine selected is defective from A, it's simply um, 0.60 times 0.10, which will give us 0.6 times 0.10 is 0.06%. So this particular probability means, um, given that it's defective, if we select, uh, or the probability that a defective part will be coming from machine A, it's going to be 6% based on this uh, table. Now, if we're going to answer letter B, the question was, if we choose a part produced by one of these three machines, what's the probability that it's going to be defective? So that means it's a conditional statement that we need to find the probability that the parts we selected is defective. So we're going to be looking for the sum of the probability that we select a defective parts from machine A, B, and C. So all we need to do is to multiply 0.60 and 0.10 because this is the probability that we select a defective parts from machine A added with 0.30 times 0.30 which is the probability that it's defective or the parts we selected is defective the part of machine B, and 0.10, which is the probability that the parts will be coming from machine C, and that it's defective is 0.40. So by simplifying it, so to uh, multiply it, six, six times 0.10, plus 0.3 times 0.3 plus 0.10 times 0.4 is 0.19. So the probability that the, um, the part that we selected will be defective is about 19%. Now to answer letter C, if a part is inspected and found to be defective, so we already selected the part and it's defective, this is an example of a conditional statement. So that means we are computing for a part that is defective. What's the probability that that part came from machine C? So we know that the defective part or the probability of selecting a defective part is already 0.19 from the previous question. We just need to find the probability that that defective part will be coming from machine C. And that will be this and this. So we have 0.10 multiplied by 0.40, which is the probability that defective part will be coming from C. So using our calculator, 
point ten times point forty divided by point nineteen is point two one zero five. So the probability of this happening is about twenty one point zero five. So this is how we compute for the probability using three methods. We have the Venn diagram, the two-way table, and the tree diagram.